This is the tank that they're gonna be going in. Look at this fish right here, guys. Look how awesome it looks. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video if you guys are new here My name is Jack. This is Barb's buzzing and you came on a pretty cool day today We are going to be taking all the albino fish out of my 55 gallon tank in my room and moving them into the tank room They're going to be going into the 125 gallon freshwater tank that we have the aqua decor in it is officially Cycled completely and then uh, I'll be breaking down my 55 gallon tank and uh, we're basically just moving all the fish that we have into the tank room that way it's just easier for us to film in general that way we're not all over the all over the place but i'm gonna head inside we're gonna start siphoning out the water into the cooler and netting these albino fish out bringing them downstairs putting them in in their new tank all right guys so as you guys know this is our 55 gallon with all of our fish in here it's you know we've been waiting to put these guys in the tank so this doesn't look great but our other tank looks perfect so we're gonna fill this thing up Right here, this big cooler. Transfer them all downstairs. And they're gonna look so good in their 125 gallon big tank. So this is the tank that they're gonna be going in. This is our 3D backgrounded, completely set up 125. It's been cycled. And this is the tank that, are gonna, that they're gonna be going in. Let's start getting those fish upstairs and start bringing them down here to put in their brand new, amazing, beautiful tank. Let's do it. So but once we get all this water in this cooler here, we're gonna have to be pretty quick because we wanna get these guys safe in there. So right when we have enough water in here, we're gonna try to net them all out and get them ready for their beautiful new home. So let's fill this thing up with water. We have all the water that we need inside of the tank. So now we're gonna go ahead and scoop them out one at a time, carry this thing downstairs, and we're gonna get them acclimating to put them in the 125. So let's get scooping. Look at this water, guys. Look at this. Oh my god. It's dirty. Yeah, this is some dirty water. Okay, our beautiful tank downstairs does not have dirty water, but we gotta get these guys out of this tank, and they're crazy. So Come on, Dad, they're gonna be hard to get. This is our dat node right here, right in the little corner. He's a little. He's just a little guy, but he'll grow up, be big. He's just eating tilapia like crazy, and he's very, very fast. Now everything's over here right now. He's a zoomer. Everything's in the corner. We have a lot of money's worth fish in here, guys. A platinum red tail, albino arowana, albino clown knife, and a datnoid. That's those are some pretty expensive fish. Here we go. So we want to make sure that this is perfect. There's our clown knife right there. Albino clown knife going in the cooler. There he is. Look at him. He looks dope. I love the albinos, guys. Absolutely love the albinos. I hope you guys like them too. But definitely my favorite kind of fish. Now next, who are we getting next? That noise, there's a little guy, dude. He's so small, but he's so fast. He's gonna look awesome in the new tank. Zoomer. There he goes, there's a little datnoid. Come on, bud. And we, we have white sand in this tank now, so you're definitely gonna be able to see him a lot better. He kinda, okay. kinda you know, blended in with this dark sand, so. <laughs> there he is, right in the corner. All right. Hey, buddy. Here comes Willie. Hey, little datnoid. And our clown knife, he's very skittish. These two are big, big, big time fish right here. This is Willie. This is our one eyed platinum red tail who is an absolute monster. And we got him when he Dude, was literally that. two him, inches. Look, look at this fish right here, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Tank. Look at this absolute tank right here. That thing. Dude, I love the, the, the one girl. eye. He's, yeah, we, one we eye. got him when he was thickness, like length. Literally. He was like. That, the way his body's thick, that's how long he was when we bought him. Such a sick fish. You ready? Let's bring him. You're grunting. Is that him? Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny how they do that. There you go, buddy. <laughs> yes, dude, back to the- So no. There you go, he's gonna look so good in that tank. But he is big, guys. Look at how big his head is. Dude, he's big. It's huge. You gotta get dude. that black spot off him, though. Huge man, this thing is that sure. thing is a beast. So there's our four, our three fish in there right now. Look how much bigger that platinum red tail is. He is gonna get so big, and don't worry, this is the 125 is not the final destination. He's gonna go right into the pond once he gets too once he gets uh, cool uh, too big. So Never. this looks awesome. Love that so fish. Awesome. Love that fish. That by far they feel so my weird. favorite fish. All right, the jumper. Well, let's get the jumper. This is gonna be a hard guy. We don't. We definitely don't want to mess with his fins either. So, I just want him to jump out. Gotta make sure this is done perfectly. Right here. He's so fast, that's the problem. You got him. Zoomer, oh. Zoomer. got him. Don't jump, bud. Yeah, he, he jumps really quick. Okay, here we go. 
Look at that fish, guys. Bro, get ready with the cooler shut it. A beauty. A beauty. There we go. There is our freaking albino arowana, guys. Look how sick he looks from the top. Beautiful fish. We got all four that was in our 55 gallon tank. Now in this cooler. Look how good they look. They look amazing. They look so good. They're gonna they're gonna look so good in the 125. But uh, let us know down in the comments what else should we get for this tank. I'm thinking a little beauty paku. I'll buy them. That would be dope. I don't know. We'll see. Let's bring these guys downstairs. Get them perfectly acclimated to their new beautiful tank. All right, guys. Slow and steady. All the way down the stairs. Now we're ready. Look at this tank, guys. Right here. Look how beautiful this is. This is gonna be their new home. There it should. Wow. Look at this. It's amazing. Imagine them in here right now. I cannot wait to put them in. It's gonna be sick. Let's do it. Now, as you guys can see, we have all these lids on this tank. All of our tanks, oh, we always put these glass lids on there. I think they're awesome. So, all the jumpers that we get for this tank will absolutely not jump out. We actually had some minnows in here that we put in just to help cycle the tank. We put like seven, and uh, they're actually, I don't know where they are right now, where are they? There they are, look at them all up there. They're pretty cool, but they're gonna be food because uh, these guys are gonna end up eating them, and the Adapnoid loves to eat live. You know, every once in a while they get a little live food and not just eat dead all the time, you know? They need those instincts, so. Look how awesome this looks, dude. I'm obsessed with this tank, guys. Obsessed. First things first, gotta acclimate them to the tank, so just gonna keep scooping this water into that cooler, and then we're gonna finally put them actually in the tank. All right, you guys, as these fish are acclimating, I just wanted to go ahead and point out the difference between a platinum and an albino. Clearly, you can see how much whiter this uh, red tail is. This is a platinum fish. He's all white. And if you look at the arowana, this is an albino arowana. You can see he has a bit of a yellow, goldish tint to him. Albinos have the, more of a yellow look because the platinums are just all white, black eyes. The albinos are more of a goldish yellow color with red eyes. So this was just a good example. Like now that they're ex exactly next to each other, you can see that that arowana is very yellow and the platinum is just all white. But I thought that was kind of cool just to point out. All right guys, we gave them a long time to acclimate because these are such expensive fish and we do not want anything to happen to them. So we're gonna be putting the Datnord in first because he looks pretty stressed out and he looks like he's ready to go in the tank. So we're getting that little Datnoid. He's gonna enjoy his big house. He's going from this tiny 55 gallon tank and this cooler to a huge 125. Mm. It's gonna be great. They're such a weird fish, dude. Let's look, 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 look at them up close. Look at that thing. Look at the colors and stripes on that. He is fish. cool. That is an awesome fish, guys. Wow, that's sick. All right, let's get him in. And the camera's blurry. There it goes. All right, he found his little yeah. spot. Yep, you looking good in there, dude. That thing is sick. We're gonna need a lot more fish in here, right, guys. Buddy. Like, look how big this tank is, and that fish is literally this big. This would be good for him, because he's not a lot so, of spots to hide from the bigger fish. Exactly. There he is back there, right behind that log. Figuring everything out. Once he gets, you know, used to everything, he's gonna do great. So, let's get these other fish in this tank. All right, we're going for the arowana next. Come here, buddy. This is the this is the hardest one to get by far. He's the jumper. He's a leaper. And the one that Come will here. definitely elude us. Oh my god, you're getting two in one. No, I do that. Good. All right, we're getting the clown. Oh, the clown just swam right in that. So I guess we're getting him. There he is. Let's look at him too. He hasn't gotten much bigger. Nope, but he's still an awesome fish. Still an albino. Let's get him in. Whee! There he is. There he is. Such a big <laughs> these these for him. minnows look albino. They're all white. <laughs> so we got albino everything in here except the daddy. Excuse me. That one. Sick. Dang, he looks so good. He looks so good in here, dude. I love this, this fish. Dude, this is this tank's amazing. This thing is dope. This Thank fish you. is dope. Albino clown knife, guys. So sick. And look at him compared to the whole tank, guys. He's tiny compared to everything else. So, like, the arowana is a holy bit. cow, that's nothing. All right, let's get the arowana. Try to get him in here. All right, we got him in the net. Now, this guy does jump, so he is a we're going to do this quick. I'm just going to oh go gosh. ahead and get him in. The water splashed into my eye. Let's let him in. Get out there, buddy. <sighs> yes, dude. Wow. He that's is so a, good. That is Right there. Look at that fish in there, guys! Oh, oh my god! My god! When this fish gets like <laughs> doubles its size and he's just gonna coast yeah. back and forth, it is gonna look amazing. He's gonna—he looks so good in here, dude! Oh my god, he's such a beast! 
He's actually a decent size too. He's not. He is not small. He's not huge, but he's probably he's perfect size right now. And wow, he looks good. Wow, I am hyped, guys. Holy cow, we got some sick fish in here. Yes, dude. Okay, our last our last big monster's got to go in now. Our platinum red tail. And then we have our four fish in here. Time for our big boy. I'm gonna grab this guy with my hands. Our number one prodigy. Let's get a good look at him. One-eyed Willie. Yeah, let's get a good look at this beautiful fish. Ready? Look at that. Look at how amazing. Oh my god, I love him. I he's love spotted. Him. He's bigger than my hand. Next time we take this guy out of the water, he will be Huge. like four or five times the size, but I don't want to stress him out too much, so. There he goes. Our platinum red tail. He's in. He's in, baby. Don't go over there, man. Now he's gonna find his spot. He's gonna find the. If, he, if that is his hole, I would be pissed. Yeah, I want him to be on the right side of the tank. Come on, come on, Willie. There you go. There you go. Yep. There you oh, go. Go straight. No, no, no. You turn the wrong way. You're not gonna fit there for like another day. You're gonna be, you're gonna be too big for this spot. All right, guys. There is our platinum red tail. He just went out of that corner. He figured it out, and now he's swimming on this big tank. Look at him to scale, guys. Look at him to scale. Wow. Awesome fish. Not super big, and look, he wants to go behind all the rocks for some reason. He's gonna have to figure his way out. Yeah, he's just you know searching around the tank, looking for a good spot for him to dig a nice little hole. But yeah, we got our awesome red tail, arowana, clown knife is over there, and the datanoid. And wow, this tank looks so good. So good. We do need to get a better light for it, which we will, because this light is too small for it. But right now, it literally looks like the Amazon rainforest, and one eyed Willie is doing awesome. And I'm, pro I'm, I'm pretty sure he wants to eat right now. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even put it past him that he just would eat a whole tilapia fillet right now. All right, guys, I'm gonna roll a quick montage right now so you guys can enjoy this tank and see how awesome it looks. I think it looks incredible. I can't wait to get some more fish in here. Look at it to scale, guys. All those little fish swimming around in there. All right, I'm gonna roll the montage right now. Enjoy. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Put all the fish in our beautiful tank right now. Look how awesome it looks. Literally the Amazon right here. The Datanoid looks unreal in this tank, guys. He, his colors brightened up as soon as he got in here with the white sand. He's totally striped now. Yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button if you guys love this tank. And uh, hit that subscribe button with that post notification bell on. That is the most important thing. And post notification bell is by far number one because you never wanna miss a video. So. There you have it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.